Welcome back or welcome if it's your first time. I'm always happy that you're here. Happy to see you. I wanted to do, okay, so I watched a super cute video this morning from Beauty and the Frizz. If you don't know her, if you don't follow her, um, I will link her channel down below. She's so, so cute. I love her content. She is a second grade teacher. She's a mom. She's just adorable. So go and follow her, but she posted a video this morning. Um, I'm sorry, I'm like trying to get everything situated over here. <laughs> um, she posted a video. It was a video about, it's called like the Christmas tag. So there's 20 questions and I just loved hearing her answers. I thought it would be fun to do. She mentioned in a video that she pulled her questions from several different videos, several different Christmas video tags. So. I don't know who the actual like OG creator of this tag is, I apologize, but I will definitely leave Beauty and the Frizz linked down below. Go show her some love. So let's get into it. I thought I would maybe just film like a get ready with me while I answer these questions. I am like full throttle into Christmas over here, okay? I have just a couple things I have left to buy. I have everything wrapped, I have the trees up, like, we're ready. So I thought this would be fun to do. I've got my cup of coffee. I made like the best little breakfast. So let's just do it. I got the house to myself. I also thought it would be, I mean, I just figured I would kick off my one week, one palette today. I know it's not like Monday, so it's not, you know, the start of a one week, but okay, we're starting right now. Okay. I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, I suppose I should or could use like the blues and greens. I haven't used those yet, but is like, is that really the mood I'm in? I don't know. I don't know where we'll go, but let's just get into it. I don't have my eyes prepped at all. What am I doing? I just got too excited to sit down and film. You guys, I apologize if I am like, sniffing this whole video I I don't know if you can tell but I just I don't feel 100% this morning I'm really stuffed up my nose is runny um I don't know what the deal is but I just apologize in advance okay but I think you would rather have me like be sniffling than having snot run down my face so you know it's a trade-off while that dries, let's just get into the first question. So the first question is, what is your favorite Christmas film? And how do you pick one? How are you supposed to just pick one? It's impossible. It's absolutely impossible. But I will say, there definitely are Christmas movies that I make a point to watch every year. Like, there are definitely movies that I have to watch every Christmas, okay? So, I think it's safe to say those are probably some of my favorites. Um, and on that list is, um, I mean, The Grinch, obviously. Either the original Grinch or the Jim Carrey one. Either or, they're interchangeable. I absolutely love both of them. Um, another one that I always, always watch is Love Actually. It's just so good. It's just so good. I cry every time I watch that movie and I've seen it like hundreds of times, but it's just so good. Um, what else do I watch? I love Meet Me in St. Louis. That is one of my favorite Christmas movies. I love old movies in general, but I really like musicals. I love musicals and I love the song, Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas. I love Judy Garland. I mean, it's, it's such a good movie. 
Um, are those, oh, the only other one I can think of that comes to mind that I watch every year is a movie called The Family Stone. And it has Sarah Jessica Parker, it has Diane Keaton, um, Luke Wilson's in it, uh, Rachel McAdams is in it, there's a ton of people in it, uh, is it Dermot, Dermot Mulroney, is that his name? I think that's his name, mm, forgive me, I can't remember, uh, Claire Danes is in it, it's such a good movie, it's just about this family and they, um, Sarah Jessica Parker is one of the son's girlfriends and she like goes home to meet his family for Christmas. And, you know, things ensue. That's another movie that I, I cannot watch without sobbing. Like I know what happens. I know when it's happening, but it doesn't matter. I just, I bawl every time. So those are pretty much it. Obviously, like for me, the Harry Potter movies are Christmas movies in my mind. So we actually just last week binged every single one of the Harry Potter movies. So I know that's, I'm already cheating. Okay. I know I'm already cheating, but you can't, you can't have just one favorite Christmas movie. Like how? good for you if you can um okay so i just used that green this breath shade um that was way way more pigmented than what i thought it was gonna be i mean it's still like it's a pastel but it definitely gave more than i thought um whatever let's go with, i mean I just feel like logically we have to go in with this other green now, right? Mantra, this dark green. Let's do this. Uh, second question is on Christmas day, sorry, on Christmas day, do you stay in your pajamas or do you get dressed up? Pajamas, baby, all day. Pajamas probably for Christmas Eve and Christmas day if I'm keeping it real. Um, now, and actually that depends, you know, I mean, in years past, wow, this is really pigmented. Just trust the process. Um, in years past, typically on Christmas Eve, we actually would be going somewhere either to, well, we would actually probably be going several places, um, either my older brother's, my parents' house, my mother-in-law's, like, we used to go uh, several places for Christmas Eve. So in that instance, I, I would get dressed up. I would do my makeup. I would do the whole thing. But uh, this will be the second year that we haven't done anything. So it's going to be pajamas both days. I doubt I will, I doubt I will even wash my face, okay? If I'm keeping it absolutely real with you, like we just don't, Christmas is about total and absolute relaxation. Like we don't do anything. We just want to get up early, open presents, probably go back to bed, take a nap at some point, eat some food go back to bed we don't do anything sorry it's hard for me to like blend and talk and stay on track um <laughs> so those actually blended really nicely together okay kind of excited i went for a green look um i think i'm gonna go with this shimmer here which is called is it yama yama sounds wrong to me Yama sounds just not right. So we're going to say Yama. So, so pretty. It's kind of a um, more of a subtle shimmer, but I do feel like it almost has a little bit of green in it, which I think is going to look really nice with this. Anyway, let's get on because there's 20 questions and we're on number two, but number three 
is um, where do you spend your holidays? So again, I feel like this question has to be answered in terms of like pre-COVID times. That's just kind of how our lives are going to be defined now, aren't they? Pre and post COVID. So in the past, like I said, we have, we've always gone somewhere on Christmas Eve. Like my mom loves to cook just a big ass dinner and have sweets and like have the kids open their presents, the grandkids, us kids. Um, on Christmas Eve. We have not done that in a couple years now. That's usually what we do. We'll go over there. Um, my older brother has had Christmas dinner at his house in years past. Our kids usually, um, or they have in the past, spent the night at my mother-in-law's house. She likes to have all the grandkids over on Christmas Eve. They all open their presents. Or actually... I think she has them like the day before Christmas Eve, the 23rd. Anyway, um, we usually do some variation of those things, uh, but I just doubt that things will be back to normal this year, maybe next year, but that's pretty much it. We, we don't do a whole lot. Uh, we do that and then we stay home on Christmas Day. I made a we made a really nice meal last year. I made some homemade like cinnamon rolls for breakfast. It's, you know, it just was kind of a, it was a different year. This year is going to be different. I'll probably do that again. But, you know, it was, it was kind of nice just sort of doing some things as a family at home, maybe starting some new traditions, things like that. But that's it. We'll be at home this year. We might do a, last year the grandparents rolled through. We opened up our garage. The kids went out there, opened their presents that way. We'll probably do that again this year, um, depending on the weather. Question four is your favorite Christmas song. I mean, you guys, I love this shimmer. I really love how this is looking. Um, favorite Christmas song? I mean, again, how how are you possibly supposed to pick one? You know what I listened to last week? <laughs> that I'm look. I'm not ashamed. I gonna I was gonna say I'm ashamed, but I'm not ashamed. Okay, this album was like a huge part. <laughs> of my youth and I love it still. If people can like the Justin Bieber Christmas album, I can like NSYNC, okay? NSYNC's Christmas album is full of bangers. It, there, I said it. It's so good. I listened to it last week. Uh, my family was not a fan, but I don't care. I don't care, it's so good. It still holds up. Um, I mean, obviously Mariah Carey. Come on. Mariah Carey is one of my favorite, period, like ever in life, in the world. She's amazing. And All I Want for Christmas is just, it's an absolute classic. It's an absolute classic. Um, I mean, if you've ever worked retail in your life, I know, like, I used to work at Ace Hardware. <laughs> way way back in the day and we had a Christmas it had to have been like a CD or a playlist or something something that they played on a loop all the time starting like in November so there's a lot of songs that I maybe used to like and they've kind of like lost their luster um, I used to really like the the Beatles song. I don't even know what the name of it is. Um, and so happy Christmas. Uh, I used to like that song. They beat that into the ground for me. Um, actually a song I really do like and Beauty and the Frizz mentioned this too, but I love, um, Wham and George Michael, uh, Last Christmas. Last Christmas, I gave you my heart. 
the very next day i didn't taylor swift or somebody remake that I, I don't know but i love the wham version um and then just you know there's christmas music that is like very nostalgic to me my mom growing up my mom loved Mannheim steamroller shout out to you if you even know who Mannheim steamroller is but she my mom had all the cds she would play them all the time it's just like instrumental christmas music but i still like it i still like it it's very nostalgic for me uh but that's really it i mean i don't i i don't like fawn over christmas music it's not it's not something that gets me terribly excited so concealer on I, that's only my second time using that nyx concealer so we'll see how i feel about it i'm gonna use my new joa primedation next question do you start shopping on black friday or do you wait until the last minute typically in the past i am always shopping last minute i mean I have been known to even be at the mall like on Christmas Eve. <laughs> That's how last minute I'm talking. Um, however, in the last couple years, I have been trying to be better. And I actually did really well this year. Um, I think just because there was like so much talk about the supply chain stuff, you know, and it's going to be so, and I'm not saying that to like discount it. I, I know that it's true, but, um, I, you know, you just kept hearing that it was going to be like difficult to get stuff. So I started shopping early. I started shopping probably like in October, late October, maybe the first couple days in November. I can't remember. But I definitely started way, way earlier. And that's why I am pretty much done at this point. And it feels amazing. I'm not going to lie to you. It feels so nice to be done. I just have to do a couple more things. Like just last minute stocking stuff or things that aren't going to be like hard to come by. I have to get my nephews something, a little something. But that is it. The next question is, can you name all of the reindeer? Oh, um, what does he say? On, first of all, I don't even know how many there are. Eight, nine. Uh, on Dasher, on Dancer, on Donner, on Blitzen, on Comet, on Cupid, on Comet. On Dasher, on Dancer. On Comet, on Blitzen, Donner, and Rudolph. Damn, I used to know them all. That question got me. I don't know. <laughs> okay, well, I'm going to have to Google that. Because now I'm annoyed with myself for not knowing that. Oh my God, what are they? Well, I can't. To answer the question, no, I cannot. Next question, what holiday traditions are you looking forward to? You know, um, well, the traditions of going over to my mom's house, my in-law's house, uh, those aren't happening. Yeah, those aren't happening, so can't look forward to those. Um, you know, I just kind of think, again, like this year is going to be one of those years for, for us to just enjoy at home and do some things as a family. We do have, I mean, we have like a couple traditions as a family. There are, there's a neighborhood close to where we live here that does Christmas lights like in a huge way, in a huge way. I, they, 
the whole neighborhood does it. I honestly think that it's like part of the contract you sign when you buy a house in that neighborhood is like you have to participate in this. They call it like candy cane lane at Christmas time. Every single house has just these immaculate light displays. You can, you tune your radio station to a certain station and it like syncs with some of the lights on people's houses. So it's pretty cool. The kids like doing that. Even the older kids ask to do that every year. It's crazy busy. Like the traffic is stupid over here that time of year, but we'll do that. I always look forward to that. Um, I love this powder. So much the Pat McGrath under eye powder like where did my under eyes go I don't know next question is um, is your tree real or fake oh fake honey fake all the way I have two fake trees actually and I love them I don't know that I will ever get a real tree again I think honestly part of me is just like terrified of starting a fire with a real tree even though like we had real trees my whole life growing up like we always went to the the tree farm or whatever and we got to go pick out our tree chop it down like <sighs> fuck okay sorry i just got makeup all over my white shirt i don't even know why I own white clothing you guys I don't anyway I was just saying I've always had real trees growing up um that used to be one of our traditions was cutting the tree down bringing it home blah 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 it's just not uh something I continued with my family for whatever reason so fake fake all the way there so easy to put up, easy to store. I don't know that I'll ever buy a real tree. Plus like you can get such cute ones. I was watching Laura Mae Beauty's uh, vlog the other day and she set up, she has this freaking adorable like pink Christmas tree. How cute is that? My sister has a rainbow tree. Like you can get such cute ones. So I might, maybe I'll do that next year. Maybe I'll get like a purple tree or something. But I'm just gonna blow this out a little bit. I'm gonna get my mascara on and I'll come back. I absolutely cannot put mascara on and talk and stay in front. It's, it's too much. I'll be right Okay, y'all, let's get my face on, okay? Cause <laughs> not even halfway done with this tag. The next question is, what's your favorite holiday sweet treat or food? Um, oh my gosh. What a favorite sweet treat. Um, mm, you know what I love? What I actually really love and don't judge me are those like Christmas nougats that are white. They're like taffy and then they have the little like red and green stuff inside of them I don't know if it's supposed to be like a Christmas tree that's inside of there or what but I love those I love those so much I watched somebody's video um a week or so ago and they found a bag of them at Big Lots I went to Big Lots to try and buy some for myself this past weekend and I did not see any so I was super bummed about that if you know where I can find them, let me know because those are probably definitely <laughs> a like seasonal treat that I enjoy. But other than that, um, I can't think of anything that I just like really crave or look forward to with the holiday season. I mean, most things you can make or buy any time of the year, regardless if it's Christmas or not. Um, I do look forward to, like I said, the meal that my mom makes on Christmas Eve. My mom is like the most fucking phenomenal cook and baker. Like she just, she loves doing it. Like she will spend days in the kitchen making like everything from scratch. Uh, I mean, I just, I love it. I love her cooking. Um, so I'm really gonna miss 
that. I missed it last year. I'm going to miss it this year. But it's okay. It's going to be okay. Next question is the best. Oh, no. It's do you like giving gifts or receiving gifts better? I mean, is that for real? Receiving. Receiving. I love getting gifts. Um, I'm sorry. I do. I love getting gifts. Um, I mean, if I can get something I want and not have to pay for it myself, yes, please. That would be silly of me to say I don't like that. Um, but I love giving gifts too. I do. I do. I love them both. I like getting them just a little bit more, but especially to my kids. I love giving gifts to our kids, even though half the time they know what the hell they're getting because the girls have become so challenging to buy for. So I usually just let them like pick out what they want, but it's still, it's still nice. There's still a few surprises there under the tree for them. I'm just like layering that bronzer with my sweethearts all try to remember to list everything that I used on my face down below best Christmas gift you ever received um that one is hard uh I mean to be honest with you I mean I'm probably gonna have to throw it back to my childhood because I feel like the minute that I got a career and I started making good money like I buy myself stuff all the time and I buy myself stuff that I want all the time. So like as an adult, I can't think of like a Christmas present that has blown me away. Like now as a kid, my mom did Christmas. I got so many bomb gifts as a kid. I was a total Barbie whore, you guys. I was Barbie everything. Give it to me. I don't care. Uh, let me die in a mountain of Barbies, okay? And I remember there was always like some big Barbie thing that came out around Christmas time. I remember like one year teacher Barbie was like the thing. And it was one of those things that was like so hard to get, like people were fighting over it. Even as a kid, I can remember hearing that. And my mom worked for UPS. And so she had like the connect. She knew when a truck was coming in and she got one. I got a teacher Barbie. I got like the Barbie dream boat, like the cruise ship that you could actually like put water in. And it was like, a double decker. I got the Barbie camper, minivan, sitch. I mean, I got, shout out to Mama Brown. I mean, I just got so many awesome gifts as a kid. Um, next question is the dream place you would like to visit for the holidays. Um, London. London, I know most people are probably gonna say something like tropical, either London or honestly, New York. I feel like the, you know, the um, fantasy of like New York at Christmas time is probably just that. It's probably just a fantasy. People that live there are probably like, oh my God, this is a fucking nightmare. But I don't live there and it still looks magical to me and I would love to go. So I would love to go to New York. I would love to go to London. Um, I mean, I would love to go to London all the time, anytime, period. It's like my dream destination. But especially at Christmas, I just feel like it would be magical. Are you a pro rapper or a failure? I'm a pretty good rapper. I am a pretty good present wrapper. I had my mom teach me when I was young. My mom is like a bomb present wrapper. And I used to love like watching her do it. And I had her teach me. And I've just been practicing ever since. I wouldn't say I'm pro, okay? They're not going to be like hiring me at any, you know, professional gift wrapping place. But I'm good. 
most memorable holiday moment um and you know the thing that comes to mind and i'm gonna try not to get emotional um probably for me now my most memorable moment is the last holiday that i spent with uh my brother the last one of my brothers the last holiday that he was in town here at st louis before he passed away this spring uh which was just a couple i think it was christmas 2019 he was here um he has been a chef at diff in different points of his life. So he like loves to cook. He always, he made a really nice meal for us. He is uh, just funny as fuck. Like he's so much fun <laughs> to be around. And um, yeah, I think as I think about it now, that's, um, that's pretty special memory. Next question, when did you realize the truth about Santa? I don't know. I couldn't tell you. I don't, uh, it wasn't like a traumatic experience for me. I have three older brothers and an older sister. So like, I'm sure it was ruined for me pretty early, but I don't remember being torn up about it. Look, I don't care who's getting me the presents. Okay. I don't care if it's mom and papa or Santa, just have them under the tree. Um, Look, I don't know what I'm doing with my lip, okay? Just hold on. Well, like I thought would happen, I've <laughs> chatted my way through this whole look and I'm not done with the questions. So let's just, let's just finish them, okay? Do I make resolutions? Um, sometimes I don't, I mean, I don't know. I feel like that's sometimes a lot of pressure to put on yourself and then you feel like if you don't accomplish certain things you feel like a failure like whatever if you want to make resolutions make them I don't really care I'm not like a big um, proponent of making New Year's resolutions like just try to be better try to be better try to do better try to always be growing and learning and being a better person and a better version of you um, what makes holidays special for you? I mean, I, my kids, like my kids and my family, Christmas takes on a whole different level of magical when you're a parent. It just does. Like, it just does, regardless of if your kids know about Santa or not. It's just special. You know, I mean, some of those first few Christmases with my daughter, like when she was little, when she was the only one, are so precious to me. Like those memories are so precious. Staying up late and putting together her toys like after she had fallen asleep so they could be sitting out from Santa and she could wake up and see him. It's like, that's just a different level of special. It's And that's that's what makes them special to me. Um, if you could be under the mistletoe with anyone, who would it be? So if I could kiss anyone, who would it be? I mean, look, this is going to sound boring, but in these, in these COVID times, I'm not trying to make out with just anybody. Okay. I'm not. So, I mean, my husband, of course, I love kissing my husband. Uh, but you know, you know, like if Idris Elba wandered under the mistletoe, like I wouldn't turn him away. I wouldn't walk away. So, um, when do you start getting excited for Christmas? Probably when I start shopping, like when I start getting lists from my kids and stuff starts coming in and getting delivered and that's when I get excited. Definitely once the trees go up, which has been since the first day or two of November for me, I put them up super early. So yeah, when I start shopping and when I get decorations up in my house, it really feels real and exciting. And then the last question is, you have been granted one Christmas wish. What would it be? You know what, honestly, this year, is just to have a normal fucking Christmas. Like I 
wish that we could just do all the things that we did a couple years ago. You know, I wish my kids could go over and spend the night with my mother-in-law. I know that's something that she really loves. They really love. They look forward to it every year. Um, we could give each other hugs. We could give each other kisses. Like we could spend time inside of everybody's houses. Um, that would be my wish is just to have a more <laughs> normal Christmas this year. That would be what I would love. I know it's simple, but that's what I want. But that's it. That is the 20 question Christmas tag. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching. Hope you enjoyed watching me get this look. I really like how it turned out. I don't know if I love the lip with it, but whatever. It's what we're rolling with. It's here. Um, if you've made it this far, I would love for you to subscribe, stick around for some more. Give me a like if you like this video, if you like beauty content, just talking about makeup. That's about it. But until next time, take care of yourselves and take care of each other beauties. Oh, you know what? I wanted to ask you, tell me, give me some recommendations in the comments about who to watch for Vlogmas. Are there particular YouTubers that you love watching their Vlogmas content? Um, for me, I love watching Smoky Glow. I love Glowmas, but I also love, and I've been watching her Vlogmas for years, is Kiki Chanel. Well, Kiki Chanel is her main channel. Her vlog channel is, I think, Kiki Meets World. I watch it like every day, I should know that, but I love her vlog content. I love a lot of her content, but I love uh, her Vlogmas content. So, but tell me who you watch. I really, really would like to know. I would love some more recommendations for things to watch, but until next time.